I'm Andrea and today I'm sharing a simple and delicious recipe for apple pie cookies. This recipe is so easy to make and is sure to be a hit with your family and friends. So let me show you what you're going to need and as always I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. You are going to need two refrigerated pie crusts and I am using Pillsbury, that's just my personal preference. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that they are at room temperature. You're gonna need a little bit of flour for rolling out those pie crusts. And you're also going to need a cinnamon sugar mixture. I have a quarter cup of sugar and then I added a teaspoon of cinnamon. You're gonna need a little bit of heavy whipping cream. And then you're going to use half a can of apple pie filling. This is a 21 ounce can. I used half and then I chopped it into small pieces. And you're also going to need a little bit of caramel topping. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is roll out both pie crust. I sprinkled a little bit of flour on there just to make it a bit easier. Okay, so now that I have both pie crust rolled out, I'm adding just a little bit of caramel topping, just enough to add a thin layer to that crust. Next, you're gonna take that apple pie filling and just spread it around evenly. And once you have your apple pie filling on the crust, you're gonna to go to the other crust, the crust you haven't used yet, and you're gonna make half inch slices through that dough. And now you're gonna make a lattice top, which means you have some dough going one way and some dough going the other. Okay, so once you have your strips across the top of the crust, you may have to go back in and pinch the edges to make the pie crust fit. And then you're gonna go in with a three inch cookie cutter and you're just gonna cut out little rounds. All right, so now that I have all of my little cookies on the baking sheet, I'm just taking some heavy whipping cream and just doing a little wash, similar to an egg wash, which I'm not a fan of, um, just to give them a nice golden brown color. Now, if you want to use an egg wash, that is totally fine. Next, you're gonna take your cinnamon sugar mixture and just sprinkle it right on top. And then you're gonna pop these into your preheated oven. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees and you're gonna bake them for about 20 to 25 minutes or until they're golden brown. Okay, so here are the cookies. I ended up letting them bake for 25 minutes and it smells so good in here. One thing that I did forget to do is to line my baking sheet with parchment paper. You are going to want to do that. They're not hard to get off of the cookie sheet but what's sticky is that cinnamon sugar mixture and the caramel, it kind of spills out. So definitely don't make that same mistake. Definitely go ahead and line your sheet, your baking sheet with parchment paper. Also, I forgot to mention, you're gonna have some scraps left over and I just put the scraps on a baking sheet and it's actually in the oven right now. So we're going to enjoy that too. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. I have an entire playlist of quick and easy recipes that I will link in the description box. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.